So today I watched a vampire anime and I liked it. What's up guys, that is back and today I'm doing an anime review on Blood Lad. Oh my god, that song in that in that intro is is so so addicting. Like, I mean, the intro is cool and all, but like that song, like it just once you hear it, it gets stuck in your head, and then it just kind of makes you want to burst out. But don't worry, guys. I'm gonna fight the the urge to to dance. I'm not gonna put you guys through that. So you guys might be thinking, vampire? Like, what? No, not that kind of vampire. Not the glittery Hollywood Twilight vampire. But the anime loving video game playing crazy vampire from the east kind of vampire. So what happens is, while he's just minding his own business one day, you know, up in his anime video game filled room, you know, everybody's typical room, a girl somehow mysteriously ends up in the demon world. And he spazzes out, like he completely nerds out, because finally he gets to meet someone from Japan and dude's trying on like you know different types of outfits and if you've seen a lot of the animes you'll get the reference i don't want to spoil that part but there's a lot of anime references and the outfits and everything he picks but something really unexpected happens <laughs> No, not that. Even though that was kind of really unexpected. But he needs to figure out how she got there, why she's there, how to fix her, try to figure out why his brother is trying to kill him, and amongst a bunch of other crazy stuff that just ends up happening. So he has to be really careful because everyone's always trying to expand their territory by stealing it away from you when you're gone or if you're injured or you know whatever the case may be all in all i really do love this anime but my criticism is the fact that it's too short it is only 10 episodes long so it's just like there's not enough of it uh i mean if they came out with a season two that would make me love this anime even more but sadly there isn't a season two so that kind of Makes me really sad because it introduces this awesome story, which then spins off to two different stories, which are really well done. I mean, this anime in general is well done. The the art for it is really awesome. Uh, the the character developments, like everything, is on on point. But then there's no more episodes, and there's no more seasons. This anime would be really awesome if you're looking for a action comedy with a lot of different popular anime references. But if you're looking for a really long anime, you know, with depth characters and all that, I mean, this kind of touches on the character depth, but it's not super in depth, like to the point where, uh, you know, let's say something did happen, you know, you'd cry or feel sad. I mean, because this is 10 episodes, they have to cover a lot of information super quickly, so it's not like it goes too in-depth, but, I mean, it's still it's still a really awesome watch, despite everything I said. I would definitely highly recommend watching this anime, but again, this anime is probably not for everybody, so with that being said, don't take it too serious. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you that song stuck in your head now. You're welcome. 
Hey guys, if you really enjoyed my content, please head over to my profile, and if you haven't already, click on that sub button, but then also click on that little bell. That bell will notify you anytime I post up a video, so that way you can always be kept up to date. Thank you guys for watching, I had a lot of fun making this video, if this video helped you, please don't forget to do the thumbs up. But like always, until the next review, I'll see you guys later.